Hi Taurus, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your August 1st through the 15th love reading. This is a love reading for Taurus, August 1st through the 15th. What do you have for Taurus? Today I'm using the Wild Unknown Tarot cards. Um, this was the first deck I ever bought because I was so drawn to it. Not the first deck I've ever bought, but when I decided that I was going to do this um, full time, this was the first deck. I had my old um, Rider Waits and that was it. That's what I had. And then I, and then I was so drawn to these that uh, I... This was the first ones that called my name. I want to thank all the subscribers, um, watchers, likes, and commenters. I want to thank the people that I have booked readings. I've been very, very busy. Thank you very much. Um, I forget to ask for reviews, so if you want to leave me a review on my Facebook page, I have a Facebook page, um, that would be great. Um, This is for Taurus Love, August 1st through the 15th. I'm going to try to remember to tell everybody, I tend to do the, per the signs that give me the most love next for ne the next segment. That's what I tend to do. Well, Taurus is my sign, so that's kind of a... I'm kind of biased towards that one. Um... Empress, right off the bat. Look at the beauty in that card. There is so much beauty. Wow. So this is the 1st through the 15th. It looks like at the beginning of the month that you are going to be feeling beautiful. You're going to be projecting beauty to others around you. You're going to be absolutely glowing right around the 1st of the month. <laughs> and you know, it's funny because before I started this reading and I was pulling out these cards, I just all of a sudden decided I was going to use them. This was the card I pictured. And this is a commitment. This is contentment. This is... Um, um, happiness all right very very um there's a lot of harmony in your life at the beginning of august that's absolutely beautiful you could even have a new exciting opportunity right around the corner um the new exciting um attraction perhaps that could lead to more um you know, I think that there's been, somebody is still um, moping about something, you know, they're still moping um, because they're they're deeply emotional, all right? Or somebody is deeply emotional over something towards the end of the week. Um, let's keep going. There's hidden forces, okay? Put it that way. Towards the end of the first week of August, there's some hidden forces that are working um, behind the scenes. And it has to do with um, a previous feeling of um, loss, you know? Um, perhaps you've been waiting for something and it hasn't come. But um, it's it's being worked on behind the scenes, okay? Wow. 
Holy camoly, you got some love coming in, just so you know. You definitely have some love coming in that is going to lead towards happiness, all right? Um, you just have to, there's some things that you need to let go of, oh my God. There's still something you're hanging on to. Um, wow, wow. Some some past hurt, you know, and it's, it is definitely showing up in this reading, you know, that there's a lot of... Um, There's a lot of work that still needs to be done this month. There's still a big, big um, pile of crap that needs to be let go. Oh, my goodness. Um, perhaps somebody from the past. Maybe you've been waiting for somebody from the past to come back. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. And towards, you know, maybe... This is the first through the through the fifteenth. Perhaps you you might hear something from them. Um, yeah, I think you might get a message. You might get a message from somebody from the past. Um, could be a uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. Um, either way. This new love is, it could lead to sex, all right? Just saying, it could definitely lead to sex. Um, and recognition, I mean, look at the, I mean, it's good. It's good. All of a sudden, you are you are going to feel like you have been um, brought back, okay? All of a sudden, you went through a period of despair and depression and low self-esteem probably towards the end of July where you know you didn't get what you were wanting and you were moping about it but things were working behind the scenes and now perhaps this person is going to communicate with you um, and offer you a message of love or offer you a chance to you know start something new um, This is kind of this right here. This this um, Father of Swords, which is the King of Swords. Something something is very. Um, maybe it's done without tack. Put it that way. Maybe this offer is given to you, um, kind of bluntly, you know. Um, but it could also lead to a commitment. So that's beautiful. It could. It could lead to a very, you know, con. Uh, a very, you know, I don't know if you guys have watched me before. I have a hard time spitting the words out. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. I get, I can't talk when I do my readings, but I can rest my life. Anyway, um, there's a lot of contentment and peace and harmony, okay? So that's beautiful. I really like it a lot. We have here that you absolutely have to get rid of some things, all right? You have, there's... You've been worrying, you've been depressed, um, you've felt like um, your self-esteem has probably been down, um, but you, it's kind of like you're, you're going to get through that and you're going to come out better than, you, better than it was. Um, yeah, they, there's, you, maybe you're going to connect with somebody... Um, through a celebration of some sort. Maybe you'll meet, the, catch up with this person from the past at a gathering of some sort where you go out with your friends, okay? Perhaps, you know, or there's some, I keep thinking some kind of event, you know, that um, you might meet up with this person. Now, this might not resonate with everybody, so I keep, I get messages so quickly that I have to just say what comes up. Anyway, um... There is a new welling of emotion that's in the picture, and it's going to make you feel on top of the world. It's very, very sexual, okay? Um, you're going to feel really good about yourself. You might decide to get more healthy because all of a sudden you're feeling good, so you're going to start to spruce yourself up a, a little bit. Um... <laughs> And I have to tell you, we have three, three, threes here. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. 
threes are about your prayers have been heard your manifestations your visions your thoughts i think that you have been praying for this commitment perhaps you've been wanting somebody from the past to come back you know you've been praying for it you've been manifesting it and you've been working on yourself you've been becoming more beautiful every single day the world can see it your vibration is high therefore you are manifesting it okay and your prayers have been heard that's what 333 means okay um I think your psychic abilities have been way up there. I think that you've been communicating with this loved one, even not, not physically, but kind of like telepathically. Um, the threes also say to remove all that no longer serves you. It's really time to let the past go. Okay, it's really time. You need to remove anything that no longer serves you. Anything at all. Okay, um... Because, I mean, you are very, very beautiful at this time. Why do you need to carry any of that with you? You don't. Um, you need to let your guard down. This guy right here, you know, look at how stern he is. All right, let your guard down. Be open to this commitment. Be open to this person from the past, okay? Don't be pessimistic. Be optimistic. Okay, be optimistic, okay? Um, things are starting to get better. They are. Things are starting to get better for you. Um, in regards to love, it looks like things are happening. Um, perhaps the seeds were planted a really long time ago, a very long time ago, and now all of a sudden things are starting to come to fruition. It's a blessing it's your it's the answer to your prayers and that is no joke okay so this may not resonate with everybody if it doesn't check your moon sign or your rising sign or you know maybe maybe i'm not the reader for you if this is meant for the people that it is meant to resonate with with um you have a lot of harmony on the horizon okay a lot of peace and content and happiness and fulfillment you do okay and it is a blessing it is a blessing but it may come as a shock to you it may come as a shock it may come as you know this isn't what I expected you know um, but it's meant to be it's okay it's meant to be so whatever happens just rest assured that you there's nothing to worry about because it is a absolute blessing this is a great time in your life for um coming together with somebody from the past could be a past life or a past um relationship if you're already in a relationship then it looks like it may the um level of commitment may increase I think or the sexual passion that you had in the beginning may come back you know it looks like there's it's a very sexually passionate time okay um, and it looks like it's a new feeling okay there's a lot of newness here there's an, a renewal so there's a renewal uh, maybe there's it's a reconciliation of some sort if you you know if you're coupled and going through a hard time or you're singles this person from the past I definitely see a reconciliation um, but it's a brand new reconciliation if it is it's like you don't bring me the past back you you you're completely brand new um, it's the end of a difficult situation that's that's for darn sure okay um, so much harmony in your life at this time. I love it. Just just very calm and peaceful and I don't know what this is, but this is very this right here is being in control of your thoughts. Ma probably mastering your thoughts, okay? Um but be you can't you do have to be open. You have to be open and kind. Remember to be kind, all right? Um
Jeez. Piercing. I think that because I just can't stop looking at this, there's going to be a lot of eye contact between you and this other person. There's this person from the past. There's going to be a lot of eye contact where it's like, like a piercing attraction, okay? Um... And, and you are just too pessimistic about it. What the hell is the problem here? Why are you so scared? You're feeling like, you know, I just... What the hell? I don't know. I just don't know about this. Don't play the victim. Whatever you do, don't play the victim. In anything. Okay? Because this is, this is meant to be. Alright? This is something that has been going on behind the scenes for a while it's been growing and growing and finally it is headed in your direction the universe says okay I've been cooking this up you know and they've been cooking it up and they they see that you need to have some more communication or some more fun you need to do something because you, you're looking for love you really want this new love okay in this harmonious life and so they're gonna throw this um, Iron in the fire, or whatever you want to say. What is it? No, gas on the fire? <laughs> that sounds better. Yeah, they're going to throw the gas on the fire and light somebody's fire. Yeah, that's what they're going to do. They're going to they're gonna light somebody's fire. And um, it could be a message of love. Could be with a wa could be with an air sign um, or a water sign. Air sign or water sign. Um, I think it's somebody from the past. Let's get some clarification here for Taurus, for love, August 1st through the 15th. You might have to be patient with this person from the past. Remember that there's takes there's two in a relationship, not just one. Okay? So just just be patient with this person. Okay, don't push them. Alright, don't push them. They're headed in your direction. Okay, they are headed in your direction. You can offer them some harmony. All right. <laughs> Perhaps this person from the past is a little bit pessimistic. You know, a lot of... Definitely on the search for um, peace. Okay, this person from the past is on the search for peace and balance and harmony. Okay. And um, I think that... They are, have just started this journey, so you're going to need to give them time to get there. But they're coming, okay? And you might hear something from them at the beginning of August. And you may start a sexual partnership. You might. That could lead to love. True love. And harmony, and peace, and balance. <laughs> And a new phase of your life, okay? A new phase of your life. That's what it can lead to with this person from the past. You guys can start a new chapter together, okay? A beautiful chapter where there's no shame, where you can, you know, completely be yourselves and you just, you're just ready to, to do it together, all right? And it's, the past is left behind. The past is left behind and the future looks abundant okay beautiful it's going to be exciting it's going to be very exciting um and this is daring you i mean this guy is actually daring you to do this he's like okay are you ready are you ready for this it dares you to do, to bring yourself back, to get your life back on track. It dares you to um, open up and to not push. I mean, it dares you to be great, all right? That's what he does. 
Um, <laughs> and you're going to feel great. You're going to feel on top of the world. Um, don't be scared. All right. Don't be scared. Don't be moping. It's time to move to a more peaceful spot in your life. Please do not be scared. A new um, love is on the horizon if you are open to it. Okay? If you are really, really open to it, it is on the horizon. You might have to, um, in order, you have to step out of your shell for one thing. You have to, you have to, you have to really like, Perhaps you need to go hang out with your friends. You need to let your friends help you, okay? You need to go to some community events. You need to really seriously get out there um, and, and find this love. And not, and not that you're out there looking for love, but the more you get out there, the more practical it's, it is that it's going to come in. I mean, that's just the way it is. I see that you've been like in hiding. You've been in a hiding, you know. Um the universe is going to is going to light somebody's fire just anyway, no matter what. I mean, you can you could probably stay in hiding and it would still happen, put it that way. But I think that, you know, you need to be ready for this person when they come in. So you might as well might as well get out there right now so that you're more open when they come in. All right. I see that you're a little closed off. All right, you're a little closed off. Don't be too firm, okay? Don't be too um, overpowering, put it that way. Don't try to control the situation. situation. Let the situation unfold naturally. This is working right now. The universe has got this for you. They have. They have got this. This is happening. There's, it's, it is. It's working right now. Um, it's in the preparation stages, all right? That's what's going on. Um, get ready, okay? The plans are underway, okay? They are. It's happening. The universe is, is working this for you. They're working this. Things are headed in a very nice direction for you. By the end of August, you're going to be like, wow, wow, I'm feeling so good. What what just happened here? My life is calm. My life is peaceful. You know, my wishes are starting to be fulfilled. I feel like I've started a new chapter. I'm being accepted by this. This person accepts me. Are you kidding me? So that's, I mean... Pay attention to your dreams, too. Your dreams are telling you something. Remember to manifest, okay? Your thoughts become things. You are beautiful inside and out. And I think during these two weeks, you're going to be um, probably even feeling... I mean, you are going to be glowing, and you're going to be increasing your beauty, whatever that may be. I mean, your beauty is going to be increasing, Alright, so, there's going to be a breakthrough of some sort. There is. There's going to be an awakening that probably from... Either this um, water sign or this air sign. They're going to have the awakening that's going to bring them towards you. Okay? Perhaps they're finally looking for a commitment after a hard time. This tower has something to do with it. All right. Yeah, it does. There's going to be, all of a sudden, there's going to be, there's going to be a big shock. There's going to be a big shock that is going to, um... cause the breakthrough that's going to cause this communication or meeting or um, 
clarity. There is. There's going to be a big shock, but it's a blessing. It is absolutely a blessing that leads to love. It does. And it could be, you know, your soulmate that you you start the next chapter of your life with where there's no shame whatsoever. You can absolutely positively be yourself. A whole new you. All right. But there's still somebody who, I don't know, is there somebody who's jealous or somebody that doesn't want this? You know, this is a, this is a, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, man or woman, who it seems like they're, they're holding you back in some way. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or... It could this could be the person that you um <laughs> maybe that's the person you're thinking about Libra Gemini or Aquarius maybe that's the person um that you may find some peace with You know, maybe that's the one you're going to start over with. Um, and it could, you know, um, maybe that's the one that... You want to communicate with and who has been trying to communicate with you. All right. Perhaps this person has been trying to communicate with you and you haven't been accepting it, but you might decide to accept it. You might decide to step out and say, okay, you know, I will listen for a minute. Okay. Um, You're skeptical about this person, either way. You're skeptical. You're skeptical about this person. I feel negative about this person, and I'm sorry to tell you that. That's why I'm so distra I don't. You know, it's hard to say what's coming out of my mind in my mouth because I feel like this is a negative person, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, and I and I'm sorry that I feel that way, but I do. Um, I feel like they're holding you back from this, this, and this breakthrough is away from them. Because look at the sternness. Oh my God. It's like it does not fit. It's not who you are. You don't want that. This person is a fighter. They like to fight. They're very sex sexual, you know, and, and whatever, but they, they, they like to fight. That's what I see right now in this energy, in this card, in this reading. You know, look, at it's almost like they're overpowering, you know. This one's overpowering, too. Overpowering the reading. I mean, it is. Look at look at them. I mean, this is the swords and this is the swords. It's very overpowering. Um, so here, this one is saying, do not overpower this person from your past. Okay, that's why this one is here. That's what it's saying. I'm just making a you know, a comparison here of these two people because they're, they're very similar. It's the same person, I think, if it was to be a person. There's a lot to explain. But anyway, um, this right here is an energy. But um, don't overpower this person from the past. Let them come in in their own time. That's what I'm trying to say. It's working behind the scenes. They see your beauty. Keep it up. Keep it up. Over here, we have this new, um, probably this new sexual partner. Oh, that's what it is. This person might be upset over it. Yes. This person might be upset over your new partner. Thank you. Thank you. 
That's why, because I was like, this is this is not you know, this isn't good. They're upset over your newfound harmony and happiness and joy and contentment and commitment. They see it and they're like, oh, yeah. You know, that's what they feel. Um. Hmm. This is a love rating. So it looks to me like you have somebody from the past coming in, probably towards the beginning of the month, and it can lead to a very happy phase of your life, a, a new chapter, put it that way, a brand new chapter where you can completely be yourself. It's not about looks, okay? It's about um, the fit. It's a very good fit. Okay, I see a lot of passion, a lot of sex could lead to commitment. And perhaps this person still has some worry about the situation. They may be a little bit pessimistic still. Um, but I think they're going to have a breakthrough that's going to um, creep them in your direction. Okay, this is something that's been working behind the scenes for a while now. I think that you have been manifesting this. You perhaps have been... Uh, you know, really thinking about this person. And this person's probably been thinking about you, too. It's probably mutual, so put it that way. Um, and I think it's very exciting and enthusiastic. I think that there's a lot of um, confidence and, and enthusiasm. Seriously, a lot of enthusiasm. I think there's somebody that could not be happy about this. They might be jealous or pissed off because they have lost you. I don't know what the case is, but that could be the case. This is, uh, could be any sign because everybody has, you know, moon sign, rising sign, energies, you know, so it could be any sun sign. This here depicts a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And there we have a Virgo with the Hermit. Um, but we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. Um, I think the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is probably your new inspiration, your new commitment. The person that's starting to make you feel like, Wow. Wow. Okay, this person is kind of... Uh, scary, put it that way. Loud. <laughs> oh. Pay attention to your dreams these next two weeks. They're trying to tell you something. All right, they are trying to tell you something. You are moving to a more um, peaceful spot in your life towards the 14th, 15th, okay? But that doesn't mean that um, it's going to be peaceful for long because this shake-up is going to happen, okay? This shake-up, right around the 15th, actually, okay? And that's, this person might cause it, put it, put it that way. This person might cause the shake-up. Because they're jealous. Could be any sign. And it could be the person from from their side or it could be a person from your side. You know, somebody that says, you know what, this is ridiculous. I don't, you know, I'm not going to let this happen. I'm going to fuck this up for you. That's what, that's what this person does. Any Revenge. This is the queen of revenge. might end up getting married over here eventually this could lead to marriage this person from the past could lead to marriage can you imagine that now we're oh and an engagement holy shit and this person might not be happy at all the first through the 15th i mean it could it's gonna once you guys i mean like i said with the eye contact once you guys see each other it is over over you and this person and forgiving and learning over here you're good you know perfect absolutely forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present future this yes whoever this person is that is has hurt you and been overpowering you need to forgive and learn from it so that you can be fully available over here okay you need to be fully available 
Forgive and learn. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Absolutely. Okay? Release and heal the past. Let it go. If this person comes at you jealous or mean or rude or revengeful, just walk away. Walk away. This is it. Walk away. <clears throat> Head towards love. You know, meet them with love. That's all you can do. And that doesn't mean say, oh, I love you. Just say, you know what, I'm really sorry. Meet them with kindness. Okay? That's how it's going to end. Because you don't want to fight. They will fight. And you don't want to fight. All right? So meet them with kindness. If somebody comes after you to beat you up because they're not happy and, you know, they're hurt, just meet them with kindness. Try to, kindness. Try to understand where they're coming from. And walk away in peace. So Taurus, that is what I have for you for August 1st through the 15th. I, I think it looks very, very good. Um, if this doesn't resonate, then check your moon sign or your rising sign. And just remember that this is for thousands of people. So this could only be for... 10 people out of a thousand, you know, because it's such, I mean, it's just the way it is. The, there's en the, en the energies are so big and we all have so many different planetary aspects in our charts and, you know, it's just, you just really never know. If you came to this reading, it probably resonates for you in some way. May not be fully, but in some way. So, um, thank you so much for coming to me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you to the subscriptions, uh, likes, comments, all that jazz. Um, if you email me for a reading and I don't get back to you right away, I usually get back to people within 24 hours. Um, I'm, I book, 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 and I absolutely love it, and I try to get them out as quickly as possible. I'm, I'm banging them out. So if you uh, would like a personal reading, the best thing to do is send me an email or um, go to PayPal and pay me there. And then when I see it, I will send you an email. Um, yeah, so thanks very much. August 1st through the 15th.